I really don't like I told you so moments like this, but this is the very reason that I have been trying diligently to warn individuals about these so-called YouTube influencers that will pilfer any product that they get sent for free. They will jump on a video and stand behind that product without having any idea of the technology that goes into that product. And sadly, in some cases, it can cost you everything you own. It could cost you your life. It could cost you your family's life. And that's just the sad truth of it. So we've got a story coming out of New York, and uh, it's not a good one. There's been a, a rash, we'll call it, of electric bikes, e-bikes, and solar generators being pilfered, pimped on YouTube. And unfortunately, the individuals, for the most part, most of the individuals know nothing about the technology at all. Well, there are some things that you should not go cheap on. And battery packs is one of those items that you absolutely should not go cheap on. I think we're going to see a lot more of this in the near future. I hope not. I really hope not. But with the amount of... Uh, the amount of popularity that these items have garnered over the past, you know, year or so, I think we're going to. I think we're just starting to see a trend that is going to be extremely ugly. So what am I talking about? Well, this came out on RT. And uh, e-bikes caused a year's worth of fires in the last two months, New York Fire Chief warns. Let me repeat that. E-bikes caused a year's worth of fires in the last two months. That is a considerable uptick. This is why, this is why I warn against this. Let's get to the article. It says, lithium-ion batteries used in electronic bikes and scooters caused more fires in the last two months than in all of 2019, the New York City Fire Department's Chief Fire Marshal has told the New York Post. The FDNY recorded 30 fires involving lithium batteries in 2019, a number that more than tripled to 104 in 2021 and soared to 268 last year. In the first two months of 2024, 31 such fires had already been recorded, with the blazes causing 26 injuries and one death, according to figures cited by the Post. Indian journalists Fazil Khan was killed last week when a lithium-ion battery caught fire in the hallway of a Harlem apartment. Residents on higher floors were trapped inside the building with 18 other people suffering injuries. Chief Fire Marshal Daniel Flynn told the newspaper that e-bikes and scooters soared in popularity during the coronavirus pandemic when unemployed people bought the devices to work in gig economy delivery jobs. People bought these devices some three years ago, and now they're aging, Flynn said, pointing out that shoddy repairs and replacement of individual battery cells rather than the entire battery units increase the risk of deadly fires. Of course it does. We've seen people try to fix it or modify it themselves, go to shops from unauthorized vendors, or take it on themselves to replace the old batteries, he said. We tell people not to go with the cheapest option and seek out the manufacturer directly. Lithium-ion batteries can catch fire if they overheat or if the body of the cell is punctured. Lithium can burn violently on contact with air and once started, lithium fires are impossible to extinguish with water as the burning chemical simply uses the oxygen contained in water as fuel. The FDNY has formed a lithium-ion task force to combat the problem, and officers regularly inspect businesses that offer to repair individual battery cells. They kill people, they have killed people, and they will kill more people if businesses continue to operate in this manner, Fire Commissioner Laura Cavanaugh warned last month. So, I'm a fan of electric bikes. I think they're really, really cool devices. I had built my own. This is the one that I have built. And even the battery pack I built myself. 
you know, they warned in there about used batteries or old batteries. There's 117 18650 cells that are inside this, this box here. Every one of those batteries are used. I got every one of those batteries from stripping down used laptop batteries and I inspected the batteries, I checked them off for capacity and in return I, I built a pack with the good cells out of those laptop used old laptop batteries. That battery pack still works incredibly well. Setting in there right now, I don't leave it outside during the winter because it's not good on the cells. But I trust it enough that it's setting in there, actually with all of our prepper stuff. Well, the prepper stuff that's in, in there. It's setting in there with all the prepper stuff that we got setting in there. And I feel completely 100% comfortable with it. Why? Because I built it. And the only reason why I feel that I have uh, somewhere to come from, a, you know, an angle with this content is because this is technology that I understand. This is technology that I have been involved in for a very long time. Look folks, this isn't going to be the only problem. All the different cheap no name or lesser known name uh, solar generators out there, they're going to succumb to the very same problem. And it's not just about people repairing them. It's not just about the repaired units. It's more so about the older units that use cheap battery management systems inside of them. See, that's the trick. In order to have a reliable, safe battery pack, you need to have a reliable, safe battery management system in that battery pack. You see the safe, reliable systems in your more name brand, and I hate to say it, but your more name brand solar generator. Same with your bicycles. You're going to see the better, better made, better quality components in the more expensive options. That's just the way it is. Hey, I couldn't afford several hundred dollars to go out and buy a battery pack for my e-bike. So I took it upon myself to build a good quality battery pack for my e-bike. This isn't using cheap low drain cells, that's using every single cell and that battery pack is, is a high drain cell. It came from a laptop battery. Good cells for the most part, good cells and in fact any of the cells that I recognized as not being high quality cells, they didn't get put in the battery pack. That simple. When I ordered the BMS, the battery management system for that battery, I ordered a good one. I ordered a quality one. I ordered one that was literally twice the size as what my needs were. I could have gotten away with a 20 amp battery pack or a battery management system. Easily gotten away with a 20 amp. But I went with a 40 amp. Why? Because th with electronics, you never want to peg things. That's not how, and that's the other thing with these solar generators, it blows my mind with people. They get them and the first thing they want to do is show you everything they can hook up to them. That is stupid. That is stupid. And if you're in the market for a, a solar generator, don't do that. Buy one that is rated for well above your needs. Well above. You do not want to peg electronics at 100%. That is, that's literally playing with fire. Folks, I, I am one voice that is not well liked here on the YouTubes. I speak out about this because I know something about it. This is a field that I come from. I need help. I need people out there to help me spread the word about this because this is dangerous. People can and have lost their lives. They can lose their livelihoods just like that. All that's got to happen is that battery management system fail. See, most of these fires aren't caused by the cells being punctured. They're not being caused because the battery had a cell replaced. 
They're being caused because the battery management system fails. I guarantee you 99% of these instances, the battery management system fails. I don't know what else to do. But I need help getting the word out there. I need help confronting these so-called influencers. Because, hey, they got something free. Cool, cool, right? Remember when I got that EcoFlow blade lawnmower? Yeah. Did you see me putting out a bunch of videos promoting how the latest, greatest thing it was? No, you didn't. You know why? Because of one word. Integrity. Integrity. That thing wasn't the latest, greatest thing. That thing was a big hunk of trash. And that's why you didn't see me promoting it. Because I'm not going to promote trash. The way that the company itself dealt with the issue, I can't recommend them any longer. I just, I can't. I can't. Integrity. I keep hammering that down here on YouTube and people hate me for it. Well, kind of like the whole Bible thing, right? You don't change the Bible to fit your life. You change your life to fit the Bible. Integrity works much the same way. Shalom.